First off, salute to you, Charles. Happy Veterans Day to you. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you. And to all other veterans out there and anybody and everyone serving. Hell yeah. Appreciate you's continued support. It's been fantastic. A lot has happened, Charles. <laughs> we freaking got off the air last time. A lot has happened. Okay, so as of as of right now, 9.25 a.m. Central Time, 10.25 East Coast Time, there still has not been word on the temporary restraining order. And again, too, so the judge, yes, is a Michigan undergraduate and in the Michigan area, but this isn't a, like, this judge isn't going into the courtroom with the Michigan football hat on, right? It's, it's just, something well, I read. Yeah, it's just an injunction. It's whether or not it's yeah. the right thing or not to do. That's all that well, his judgment should be based on. Again, too, something I read just earlier was that this judge was, in fact, the judge that struck down some Michigan strike that everyone and their brother thought was going to go the other way, yeah. especially yeah. with this judge. So to throwing that out there, this judge is not whatever decision this judge makes is completely unbiased, in my opinion. I think that's also why it's taking so long. I mean, they've had this for a minute. I right. have... They've had all the information in front of them. It's been on the table since last night, what, 5, 5.30 in the afternoon. This is this was filed. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and I have a... Yeah. I have a small piece of that open, but I would like to, I'd like to, for those of you who haven't already read it or have heard about it, we are going to, this is basically the quick read on the letter Michigan sent to the Big Ten. Like all members of the Big Ten, well, sorry, like all members of the Big Ten Conference, we are entitled to a fair, deliberate, and thoughtful process to determine the full set of facts before a judgment is rendered. That is very specific. Okay, so everything that we know Everything that we know has nothing tying the head coaches to any of this. In fact, this, this seems like a Michigan thing, not a Michigan football thing, although it was in a Michigan football scenario. The Big Ten never reached out to Connor, Connor Stallions, not once. They have not received all of the information. They've received enough information. Well, they've had this information all week. Why yeah. did they wait for a yeah, couple of hours they, on a national holiday on Veterans Day, the fucking Friday before Veterans Day to drop well, their Charles, shit. Well, let's not speculate, but I'm sure we all know the reason why, because it would make the injunction that much more difficult. Difficult to get. Well, absolutely. I mean, and you can't tell me this isn't personal. This, I'm just speaking. It's and, personal. And it's, it's probably speculation, but I'm just speaking the writing on the wall. Right. Old boy comes out, Tiny Patetti comes out and goes, this is not against Jim Harbaugh. This is against the University of Michigan. You could have went a hundred different ways. You could have fined the shit out of Michigan. You could have hurt their recruiting. You could have you could have taken away scholarships, right? But instead you're hurting the players on the field. And you to me you're making it seem like the accomplishment these athletes have created for themselves on the field is no longer valid. You're, you're, yeah. There, nothing about this is against the University of Michigan. Everything about this is against the University of Michigan football team. Now, let's talk a little bit about an unfair advantage, a competitive yeah. advantage. You do this to the University of Michigan a week before their biggest game of the season, which I oh. mean, Penn State is a good football team. Apparently, did you did you hear how it broke? I mean, this is allegedly, I don't know if this is exactly how it broke, but here's the thing. This is how it went. ESPN broke this 30 minutes before Michigan was addressed by the Big Ten that Harbaugh would be suspended for the rest of the season. But here's the thing. Apparently, the kids were on the plane with Harbaugh, and they and they had to break this to him via yeah, Twitter. Some, yes, absolutely. Via Twitter or something, yeah. Pete Thamel, yeah. Pete Thamel came out about, and then 22 minutes later, Chris Bayless came out. And then at about the 33-minute mark after the story broke, the school itself made a statement that they were just informed and that they were right. aware. So In, how the f*** is Pete Thamel? getting this information i can more. i Speaking i did read charles i heard some of this so petiti was the governor of pennsylvania yeah. espn is out on the east coast we know yeah. that it's in connecticut did they say there's some kind of weird ties with him in espn petiti being a governor you know of a, of a yeah. fucking state yeah there's yeah. some kind of weird tie there I mean, obviously people it's speculation it's it's a lead what it's not what we don't world know. do investigations get leaked like this 
bad. The information leaked from the Big Ten at this point is ridiculous, which leads me right into my next point. Charles, hold on. I want to say one thing. The only thing that I can think of is there's a mole. Oh, there's a, there's a mole in the Michigan mole. program. There's a mole in the ESPN. Something there something has is been a not small scuttlebutt right. that there is a major Michigan donor who does it not like just, Jim Harbaugh really? and wants him gone. A major Michigan donor. Now I have not confirmed this. Yet. Right, speculation. This this is speculation. But again, what I'm gathering is that there is a major Michigan donor who does not like Jim Harbaugh. Wants him gone. So I'm betting his wife is from Ohio State. <laughs> it's it's I, entirely I possible. You. He's and his kids Ohio went to State Ohio State. State. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got his Michigan plaque somewhere hidden in his office. That's what that kind of fucking alumni is. Yeah, fucking crazy. But anywho, leading leading us into the next big segment portion of this is that a few days ago, it has now been released. A few days ago, and you can find this everywhere. There is Michigan Wolverine, the Wing Palmet, all of this, Chris Bayless, all of it that Michigan regents had gotten together and discussed potentially leaving the Big Ten if the Big Ten suspends Jim Harbaugh in a overstepping of their authority, which is, I believe, wholeheartedly, the exact situation we find ourselves in right now. Right. Regardless of what the outcome of the injunction is, whether or not they allow it or if they say, hey, no, you have to, we'll see you in court, you know. Right. Absolutely. Monday. Absolutely. And here's something else, too. I would like to point out that our Michigan squad is the best football team in the country. The talent only matches up. The only team that I think even matches up completely is is Georgia. And I'm saying that right now because of what Georgia did the last two years. I've not seen anything on the field yet. Well, right. That confirms the, even I'm the ESPN guys are saying that it's the most complete team in the country. And it's not even it's not, it's even, not even they've close. said it. Well, we've seen Ohio State. We've seen Penn State. Michigan is complete. Every facet of the game is controlled and is managed yeah. and is coached well. And that that leads to me thinking the same way that I think I think Woodson is the one we, we're going to get to it. But this yeah. is Woodson said it as well. He goes, you don't just you don't just magically. What is it? Was it 11 Michigan players he said were drafted? You don't just yeah. magically draft 11 football players and not have a good football team. Well, absolutely. You have a good football team because yeah. you have a good football team. You look at what Michigan did, you know, you're talking back-to-back offensive line of the year, right? Yeah. The, the name of the award slipping me right now. Uh, and but, I don't believe they're going to win it this year because they wouldn't do that, because of, especially with all the shit that's surrounding them right now. But Right. But, again, that award – has nothing to do with signs, though. That award has, I mean, and Desmond, too, pulls it up, I believe, on first take or one of the episodes. There is film where the defense has the perfect play called and the offense just plays better. Yeah. And that's what happens when you have a talented team playing against a not-as-talented team. Trust me. As Michigan fans, we we watched it happen for you know, almost a decade. Okay. Ohio State had way more talent than Michigan. The only reason it was close was because, at times, it was a rivalry game. I'm going to find this guy that, <clears throat> that allegedly used to fix NFL games. Like, supposedly, he came out as this back in the 80s. I think it was. Mm-hmm. 80s or nine, eight, late 80s or early 90s. He, anyway, he came out and said that they had somehow rigged a, an NFL game. And he said, it was extremely difficult for us to do that in an NFL scenario. He goes, in order for a college team to do this, he, he said this. He's like, I'll yeah. find it. I, I got to find yeah. it. I, it, was a, yeah. it was a tweet that somebody put out and it was like third party, third party, third party. But he goes, this is like his exact quote. It was, it was incredibly uh, difficult for us to fix an NFL game where we have professional athletes on the field that know exactly what they need to do in exactly every scenario. He goes, in order for them to do it perfectly so that we would be able to place and hit all of our parlays. For a college team just to see signs and for them to coach kids, and not only that, kids don't run the freaking right route 90% of the time. They don't know where they're not in the right position. This happens in every play in college, even you if you know, know what the plays are. From? The, the, even, even in the hurry-up college offense, right? Like, you got to yeah. be just special if you think anything crazy is going on. But let's talk to those special people. If you're in a hurry-up offense, you, the college kids, they – Run a play, pa 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 pa. Hurry up, get to the offense, go. Hut up. 
And then every single fucking player on the team or on that field, the the offense looks to their sideline while the defense looks to their fucking side. Did you know that CJ Stroud actually, I think he, they, they asked him about it because he's he never beat Michigan or whatever. They right. go, Hey, what did you audible a lot? He goes, oh, I audible a lot versus Michigan. Well, that means Michigan's got to hurry up and change their play call if they know what the play is, right? Oh man, magically his stats are terrible versus Michigan. Must be because they are cheating. Must be because they knew what the plays were. Well, he audible 10 or 12 times that game, which means he didn't call the play that they supposedly knew he was, and he audible in the same formation. How the fuck are you going to know what play they're calling if it's the same fucking formation and they didn't move? Well, and here, and and and. The- We've discussed this on the show multiple times. The sign only works if the motherfucker does an audible. Sure, exactly. And Just, even if yeah. even even if that works, right? Even if that works, you still have to make a play, regardless. That's the. That's I know. The, I mean, I'm just saying this is how people. Yeah, this yeah, is how people can are being super freaking picky about because, it. You know, like oh, because it's my cheating. biggest question is is how is how is Michigan speeding excessively? on the same freeway that every other team is driving. Charles, Charles, well, this is what we, we spoke about off the, off the air and Michigan has admitted that stallions went above and beyond in his, you know, video recording yeah. his scheme. It's not, it's not a lie that they know that he did do it. I mean, he, he even, I think admits that he did do it. He just admitted that he exposed the loophole. He didn't expose that. He said he did it illegally. There was no, no illegal thing about no. what he did. Was it maybe a little bit on the line of morality and sportsmanship according to the rules that are set in place? Sure. But did he break any rules? Yeah, he broke rules. But punish those rules when the investigation is done. You don't punish an innocent man before the freaking evidence is out there. I mean, that's what this is all about. That's what 100% what this is all about. There's nothing tying Harbaugh or any other coach to this. Stallions was a fucking, what was he? Like an assistant of an assistant, like videographer or helper or something. I don't even know what the guy's actual title was on the sidelines. <sighs> Someone said they never, he never even was really in rooms with Harbaugh ever, like, or even with the defensive coordinator. He stood next to him, well, but it's and, probably because of his love for Michigan. He just wanted to be out there on the field. I don't know. Even even in lieu of all of what that would be considered speculation, right? Yeah, it's all speculation. I'm everything the, I the say abso- is speculation. The absolute I mean, not speculative part of this would be the fact that the NCAA came out and stated there is absolutely nothing connecting the head coaches to this scheme. Correct. That's what or I'm getting any at. any coaches. The, yeah, there's nothing. That is directly from the NCAA. And you so know now, you know what that we, means, though? That none of these videos exist. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah all, it's videos of him taking videos. There's no videos. If there's videos mm-hmm. that they say, they would be able to link to, hey, they watched it at this time. Absolutely. And absolutely. Whatever. They, they can't. There's nothing. So, I mean, in, in lieu of, of literally all of that, we break it back down to what's his fucking name? Tom P- Patati. T- it's Patini Timmy, or whatever. Timmy yeah, Patini, I don't know. Timmy We're not Patata. even going to give him the, we, he won't even get the luxury of us saying his name correctly because we don't care. Potato. We, he's, he's Mr. Potato from now on, not yeah. Mr. Potato Head. That dude's sweet. This dude's just a fucking potato. So, Mr. Potato comes out and goes, this is not against the football team. This is against the University of Michigan. That don't make fucking sense. You just na- you just li- named Michigan. You named all the players, all the athletes. That, so you're that punishing. Just, it just doesn't make sense to me because. But you punish the head coach, but you're not punishing Michigan. Well, it all team. starts with the head coach. But, <laughs> sure, but everything, but it's but it's not about the football team. If we're talking Charles, about the head coach, we're talking about a football team, but we're not talking about the football team. We're I, talking about the University of Michigan. I don't want to get into this, get into this because it's something that I don't really want to talk about. But if they, if this is what the Big Ten, the precedent they want to set, how come they didn't set it when the Sandusky thing happened? How come they if didn't it start it with if the it Hitler starts thing the head coach? in Michigan State? How come they didn't set it with? How come they didn't do this with the Michigan State program? You've got, you've got literally, you just fired your fucking head coach for whacking it on the phone with an assistant. Yeah, no, well, she's not an assistant. She was just part whoever of the. the she was just she part is. of a program. They had. Yeah, yeah, whoever the fuck she is, I didn't mean. I her. think, but honestly, I think he's going to win that lawsuit. He's winning that lawsuit. They're screwed. They're going to lose millions on that one. Mm-hmm. Fucking hope so. 
well the michigan state one was the was not really him it was the nasser thing but hold on hold on but hold on though hold on though we're not talking about single people here remember this we're talking about the big 10 punishing the university of michigan we are not talking about singular actions here so why has the big 10 not punished michigan state why has the big 10 not punished any of these other schools in this way are they still gathering information that doesn't make sense because they didn't continue to gather information on michigan well no you know that the, the, it's in that report the only reason michigan is actually getting punished and the big 10 is justifying it is because of the sportsmanship clause that's the only thing they have on it the sportsmanship that sportsmanship clause that's it so hitler on a screen is in sportsmanship ohio state and purdue are, and Rutgers colluding against Michigan in the Big Ten championship last year. That's not sportsmanship. I don't know if they that that's gonna separate investigation. That has nothing to do with this one. Apparently. Well, but again, so but know. hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. This is these this are is all the things world that are gonna get in. brought into light for but sure. Hold on, hold on. This is the world we're in, though, bro. When at what time did the Big Ten give Michigan? We're talking about events that have been months surpassed now. Right? Yeah. I think this the problem is I think there's big wigs involved with this. They've got a lot more push and pull because there's no reason that anybody would pull the trigger on this. I'm agreeing with you and I'm it's, trying to make that point very loudly. Where was the due process for Michigan? There Where was none. We all, that's why there's so much schools. backlash. There was no. There was right. no due process. Now in the halftime of this, let's say, we've now reached the halftime of this portion. I don't think it actually fucking matters that much. I know all, our boys all on they that did is piss field. off all the fans yeah. and all the freaking all the I mean 600,000 plus living alumni, the absolute best law school in the conference and the most rabid fan base. Michigan, I believe with everything inside of me that this is not only the end of our Big 10 life fuck the big 10 this would never happen in the sec that this mob mentality that that went and and had a had a ad meet players meeting only yeah that shit would never happen in the sec never this dude is a potato and he was pulled out of the ground way too early way too oh, early. You would never be a mcdonald mcdonald's fry no, you, but you shout, never out, be a McDonald's fry. shout out to Santa Ono for having Michigan's back as well. I really appreciate his tweet. Dude, his Twitter has been fuck has been fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been fire. I've, I've, I've got Twitter up right now. He he, po he got in on the bet thing. I yeah, was like, yeah. Dude, that's the president. You freaking bring school. everyone got in on together. B yep, exactly. And then I a little this. pew. I had a post Blueberry earlier logo. about solidarity in michigan just go into this game with a business mentality finish what you started and you know you guys are brothers out there on the field that's what we want to see especially on you know veterans day let's i hope they hope they do the solution jim too. harbaugh will not coach michigan versus psu hearing set for friday interesting as of four minutes ago so there you go breaking news breaking news it's fine I, I, honestly you know, Arguably. you know what's going to happen. Those players are going to go out there and absolutely just, yeah, maul them. Oh, so. absolutely, absolutely. All right, I'm just, I just got to post it on the old Facebook for us here, real quick. All right. Yeah, I don't. I Breaking. I honestly don't really understand what's gonna what's gonna come of this. Harbaugh will other not than coach for just PSU. negative, other just negative, 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 negative stuff. Hearing set for this upcoming Friday. More why is it in, why is it so far out? It's Saturday today. That's six days away. They set the hearing for Saturday, Friday or Friday. And they got another game on Saturday. That's, that's idiocy. So he gives him one game to prepare one game, not even a day to prepare. So this is, this is all, like you said, Oh, it's collusion, Charles. I don't know. It seems very collusive to me. It seems like they're well, for, for just one, a well too thought out to you and me. For, Do you think actually, this is thought out? Very well thought out. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, arguably, in the law system, the fact that we have this hearing within eight days of an event occurring in today's society is incredible. Well, not really, because That's, it's an NC, it's an NCAA judge. 
that no, this is not. This is this is one of the fucking local judges from Waukesha County or some shit. I know I'm saying that wrong. This I isn't don't an understand. NCAA. This isn't an NCAA judge. This is literally a courthouse in Ann Arbor, and the the hearing is set in the circuit court for for Friday. I mean, the, you, the multitude of other cases that are probably at the doorsteps of that courthouse. I thought this was an NCAA infractions them. judge that had overseed. It was just the in, How, in, bro, 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 bro. in the beginning of the show, we talked about this judge ruled against a Michigan strike. How could, that has nothing to do with the NCAA. Right. I thought this had everything to do with the NCAA, the breaking well, rules. No, 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 no. We're, we're no, 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 no. For one, for one, the TRO is against the big 10, not the NCAA. This whole no, they, they said no. That when this all came out, they said they had an NCAA judge, like basically an official, on hand for the injunction. Who is the judge for the? I mean, it's going to be up. The judge assigned to the TRO in the case is Timothy P. Connors, a Michigan undergrad alum, alum, and lecturer at the university's law school. Though he will. I heard they, I heard a woman took it over. Did you hear about that? A woman took I, over the case. Fuck, I don't know, dude. I'm literally reading this from the internet as of that's yesterday's Sports Center, November 10th, 2023. So I mean, from a Friday to a Saturday, if a chick took over, I, I don't know, bro. That's from my understanding, this isn't an NCAA specific judge that well, I no, it wasn't. I didn't. I don't mean NCAA double like specific. I mean that they handle NCAA infractions, like it's a. It's. I really want to know what their case is going to be against Michigan because honestly, if the, how is the injunction not going to go through? Well, that's really it's, it's, regardless that it's that it's Friday, but but to to, to well, yeah, I I agree with you it. on the, the that it is fast. That it, well, but, we got it so quickly is is good that's probably the fastest i mean fuck it's ann arbor michigan bro they probably got rollover from goddamn detroit burbers you know what i'm saying i mean that courtroom is probably loaded yeah but so, what do you think's more important charles <laughs> definitely I mean, not well, no no no, no i don't i don't that's i guess that that's an asshole thing to say but i'm but i'm just saying what is more i guess that would be the same thing as like a a political thing too you know this is we got friday that's fantastic the game doesn't even play until saturday we've got a solid case that there's enough in our favor and there wasn't enough time for the ncaa to push or i'm sorry for the big 10 again where we're getting those we got to remember so i have a question for you since you against the big 10 conference not the ncaa well i got a question for well yeah but yeah is this is entirely possible that during this with the TRO and all that, that they actually will throw this out? I don't know. It, it, my thing is, is that for one, that Michigan locker room is tight for two specific categories. They are a tight squad and those doors are closed tight. None of us fucking know what's going on in there. Not a single person. We don't know what's going on in the Harbaugh room. We don't know what's going on with the attorneys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if he's allowed in the locker room or is he not even allowed at the game? There was a could funny buy, statement made. He's not allowed he on the a, sidelines. Could he be up in the no. box? Well, right. Could he buy a pri or have a private ticket and go sit in the stands with all the rest of the freaking? I'll, I'll shave stands? my beard and fucking send it to you, bro. Exactly. <laughs> but I, I don't know any of the, the legality part of it, you know, like, because obviously there's an injunction filed and like they have to like you know if they're gonna walk on eggshells obviously until well, i don't Friday, plan on staying but... in law school but i'm still currently there so i do understand this a little bit and that was <laughs> like kind of the point i was, I was like well uh... yeah <laughs> it is kind of incredible at the speed that this there is two major factors for michigan right now for one a motherfucker looked at this on veterans day okay that's fantastic and on a Saturday, I don't even, I, I barely think the president can get a court ho courthouse open on a Saturday, right? Unless it's a national security thing. Well, so yeah, well, I think that's what I was, that going. I think that's what I was getting at is they actually have somebody on the NCAA has somebody to well, look at these things this, on for but, certain but things again, like though, this. Too, that we're, we cannot add the NCAA to this. This isn't an NCAA thing. 
This is Michigan versus the Big Ten. No, no, no. The NCAA has judges to yes. do these things on Saturdays. That's what they. That was what the entire thing was about. This was that was from University of Michigan on their Instagram page, that they were the ones that had reached out to the NCAA to have somebody look at this so that it wouldn't be pushed off till Monday. But obviously now it's pushed off till Friday. So mm-hmm. we we I think there's we all, more than enough here. Yeah, that we it, all that knew it's going to take time to look at and yeah. There is no way an impartial judge would have allowed Jim Harbaugh on that sideline this Saturday. But I mean, that that's that was another thing that a, a lot of people had to realize. I think the team already knew. Yeah. Even getting onto that plane, I think the team knew. Oh, once there was speculation around the, you know, the Friday when it all broke, I think they yeah. all knew. Yeah. But something Desmond Howard did, the, the one thing I am worried about. Okay, and this this was very evident in the first three games, and this is so crucial when it comes to being a great head coach, is the adjustments at halftime. Okay, now with these games last year, right, and I think we're much better this year than we were last year, but these games last year at halftime were not in our favor. But our coach was the better coach, and those second half adjustments killed it. And yeah. that is something specific we need to look out for now moving forward. I think that's the biggest key factor right now. I love our coaching squad. I love everything we have. That was the first three games of the season. You don't see many I, adjustments during that scenario. I anyways. mean, how much do you think, how much input do you really think Harbaugh has into the offensive and defensive play calling? Or is he more, or is he more A there lot. to say, you think? I think so. But again, though, because I feel like they I already have the I, game I, plan I, ahead of time. I, 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 I love where you're going with this. I, I, I agree with you in a, in a weird circle, circular kind of way. I think he's I more do of a feel that head. Harbaugh is more of a room than yeah. a singular Presence. item. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. I think, I think they work their coaching room like writers write a sitcom. There's multiple opinions in that room. There's there's definitive answers moving forward. So yes, I do agree. I think, I think, with everything inside of me, that we'll be fine. All right. I feel bad for that Drew Al or whatever the, the quarterback for Penn State because they're going to ask for him to do a lot today. That defense. <laughs> I'm telling you, that defense is going to be. Oh my God! Does he get it? Oh, he missed it. He was so close. He was so close to the eight five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. It's it's crazy to think that this has all transpired in what less than 24 hours. It was just nuts how all this stuff broke. Just boom, 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 boom. Twitter's well, blowing up. Absolutely disgusting, in my opinion, on how oh it's disgusting that the that it even came down. Had this happened next week to Maryland before the Ohio State game, I think it might have been the week before, it probably would have been even worse though. Honestly, the fact that they're not, they didn't wait. Yeah. Just, I, they called it a bitch move. It's, it was a definitely a bitch move. It was it's something that never should have fucking happened. He's a potato. potato. It was potato. Yeah. And he, he will, he, I just don't think he'll ever, he's, he's, he's leaving. I'm sure he'll be leaving. The well, big I time. said, if I y'all don't see this. the writing on the wall, this is the same type of shit. The PAC 12 commissioner started to do when he first got there. Yeah. I'm going to bring this back into look where they all are now. This dude signed his career death warrant the day that he said, yes, there's enough evidence. Harbaugh, you're suspended. Well, congratulations. You are no longer going to be the commissioner in the Big Ten. And if you are, you're not going to be a very well-liked one. And guess no. what that entails? A lot of criticism and skepticism from the fans and from Your all the other coaches. Great. You're going to get heartburn out the ass. You'll have ulcers. Welcome to the new life. And right. The thing, I mean, if I was anyone else, Coming to the Big Ten, I'd be, I'd be rethinking that. Yeah, man, for sure. I'd be rethinking that for sure, because I, because just like one of our conversations earlier in the show, kind of got a little, a little heavy, right? It, you know, it, it, you just kept it, ex, trying to explain how Michigan was different in this scenario, and yet I kept coming back, going, "No, it's not. It's the same fucking thing." You're just looking. Well, at yeah, it but you way. can't. You can't everything the way that they, they run that shit, though, is everything has to be separate because the fucking Big Ten well, has but, already but set precedent now. I, again, though, I understand that it's separate, 
but it deserves the same separate attention that Michigan just received. Three yeah, weeks. But, you, three but, weeks but none of decision. it was towards sportsmanship. Three weeks into this. Yeah. Hitler on the screen. That isn't sportsmanship, though. That isn't yeah. nothing. And, and by the way, yeah. you know, they, they fired that company and they technically they didn't have control. They already yeah. proved they didn't have control of the scoreboard. So Shit, I don't know, man. I don't have control. <laughs> hey, if I put that if I put that glance thing up there, I can't take anything off that's put on there. It scrolls through until it's here's done. the here's how I look at it. You are the the one of the hosts of this program, and you put it on that show. So it doesn't matter what the third party did. You're the one that the punishment has to come down on. Yeah, but uh, that's the same fucking world. Charles, this, this is, is getting pulled. This is getting political, though. You know that this is how this works. Punishment this goes exactly by politics, bro. and you know this, it does. The countdown you know it is does. on. Bro. Here it is. The countdown is on. The Big Ten commissioner. Well, I, I know. I agree with you. Disinformation on Ohio State, Purdue, yep, and yep, fucking I agree. Rutgers for one week. He has two weeks to punish them. Right. I agree. If, if But is there going to be an investigation? That's the thing. Oh, yeah. But yeah, there's definitely an investigation. No. And That's you know, I heard Michigan's lawyers have like a shitload of evidence, dude. Like they have tons against everybody else in the Big Ten. So I can only imagine what they're yeah. going to bring to the table in this freaking lawsuit, like when oh, yeah. it happens. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. this. Is, here's another really, really funny thing. Does Rutgers survive without the Big Ten? <laughs> Rutgers wouldn't survive in any conference outside okay. of the Big Ten. No, absolutely not. They'd be Does done. Penn State survive without the Big Ten? Yeah, I think it's a big enough university. Does Penn they State got... thrive without the Big Ten? Probably because their wrestling program is just as big as their football program there. Okay, so no. We're, we're definitely name name five fucking name five schools that are on the map for wrestling. Five schools on the map for wrestling. Yeah, Iowa, freaking uh, Michigan, Penn State. No, no, Michigan is not on the map for wrestling. Yes, they Mi are. Michigan is on the map for football and basketball, bro. Oh, Michigan, Michigan is a good. No, no, listen. I'm not saying the University of Michigan doesn't have an elite wrestling team, right? The only name so far that I agree when you think, holy fucking wrestlers, right? Iowa. Definitely. Iowa. Penn State is the number, is the number was number one last year. Number one. The, Penn State's won more national titles than anybody. Money, I don't dude, how much money does wrestling bring a school? Quite a bit, actually. Well, we'll get into this later. Wrestling does not put you on the map. I, I, many, many people can argue with me all you want. But wrestling is not the reason you're a D1 school, right? If your team gets into the the final four, right, in the college football playoffs, for every team you get into that, you get six million dollars. What do you get for wrestling? We'll have to look that up for the the NCAA championships, the Big Ten championships, all the wrestling tournaments. Yeah, they're the fourth most profitable program. So, so behind behind football, basketball, they're what's I the third? Hockey, probably hockey. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on from the wrestling thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't you, think. You I don't can't, think. I don't think. Pe you Pe can't Pe play that card about football just funding everything because if you play that does. card, it, it does. It, it does it really. It does. Yes. The boosters have a lot to do with how much money oh, the school makes because I'm they put money you, into. I'm telling you right now, the football program or basketball program. Yeah. But did you, you know that about 60% of the revenue only comes from the TV contracts? 40% yeah. right. less than 40% right. comes from ticket sales. Right. Now here now now But that's but that's I, the I should rephrase I should rephrase this too. I don't want to say without the Big 10. I more specifically without a conference at all. College basketball is actually not that far behind college yeah, football. Yeah, I agree. As far I agree with you. That's why I said depending on where you are in the country, it could be basketball. Absolutely. You know, Kentucky's football program does not fund that school like Kentucky's basketball program. It's getting close, though. But I'm telling, but I'm telling you right now, too, bro. You can go. We can dig into this a lot. Look at where all the cuts are. Look at where everyone makes cuts and where the cuts don't come from. Yeah, Title IX had a lot to do with that too. But I'm just saying, I don't matter where. I'm just telling you, like football programs and basketball programs don't receive cuts, and. 
the weight room for the wrestlers is what it is because of the football team. See, you're only screaming for the point that the NCAA, that all of college football should just get away from the NCAA and just go semi-pro. Oh, I agree with you, but that would, I mean, right. that's no, but I, I mean, no, that's, no, all, no, 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 that's no. all that screams is because no, it's, this is it's what, the only on. thing funding it. This is where I'm, but hold on now. This is where I'm going with this. Okay. Michigan would be fine as an independent. Michigan would thrive as an independent greater than what Notre Dame has or on pace and par the same way Notre Dame has. I don't see another school in the big 10 conference accomplishing that the same way Michigan could. Oh, Ohio state could maybe Ohio state maybe. could, but Ohio nobody state would like a fuckload of money, but they'd be the of money from the big 10 and from other entities. The Big yeah, Ten think, championship game is what it is because of Michigan and Ohio State. Yeah, those are the only two teams I the outside of. I guess USC might be able to do it too with all that yeah. California yeah. money too. But Alabama um, and Georgia, if necessary. But this isn't a, this, even saying that makes me want to punch myself in the face. There's this, probably this there's probably only this. ten teams in the entire country that could go independent, start their own league, and it would be like it would be like a small NFL, like you know your Alabama, your Georgia, your LSU, your you know this big time donor money stuff but you want to know the another thing too that that i that i swear to in all of this this is happening to harbaugh because he's coming after the commissioner's money and the ncaa's money and media rights and screaming that more of it should go to the yeah, players. play the pair or play the pairs play, play the, the pairs, pairs. Yeah, pay <laughs> the, players. the players yes yeah absolutely there's no reason this media money should be going into anything other than the programs at the university and the entities creating the product for those programs at the universities. You Why is it going hope, anywhere else? I hope that this comes down where they just say, Hey, we're just going to fine you And Harbaugh just says F you writes a check. And on the bottom of that check, it just says B E T. <laughs> and my biggest question though, bro, really? I mean, I guess what it all boils down. You're talking about sportsmanship and a competitive advantage. Yeah. What? That's well. That's what they're saying. I'm not saying have. that's what I'm I saying. I know. I know. What? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the Big Ten. You're talking to Mr. Talking fucking to me Potato. Right <laughs> Sir what Potato, fucking yes. information do you have that led you to believe that Michigan acquired such a competitive advantage that you felt the only fair way to acknowledge this? was to give Penn State, Maryland, and Ohio State an even greater competitive advantage. Charles, they have none. What it, like we we both agree on this. They have none. Their only thing is is everything that it's the it's So is this is the Big 10 commissioner telling Ryan Day, Rich it's Franklin, public opinion and yeah. all of those other sons of bitches that you're not as good as Jim Harbaugh or that football team so it doesn't matter what we do. Pretty much. I mean, it's pretty I mean, much. That's, is that the writing on the wall? It is. It doesn't it matter is, if we take writing. Harbaugh because, because I mean, you're if, as a Big Ten commissioner, you're looking at $6 million out the window potentially because of this. So you're telling me that you looked at that investment and went, oh, hell no, the stock is way higher with or without. Y'all don't even compete. I heard this could be a billion dollar swing over the next like 15, 20 years. Oh, it will a be. A billion dollars if because Michigan of lost leaves, revenue. If Michigan leaves the Big Ten, to either become independent or there is scuttlebutt that the SEC is watching this heavily and that they are willing, if Michigan decides, to send an offer immediately to Michigan and the scuttlebutt yeah. on the return is Michigan wants to hear it. So That'd be awesome. It would be I awesome. I think it would be awesome. We might be in trouble the first couple of years Depending. Well, because you're gonna be you're gonna be scheduling heavy with heavy, SEC right? teams and you teams you're not familiar with. Yeah, teams it's gonna be rough. With, but also teams that are not familiar with you, and that aren't terrible. They're, they're recruiting, not really a re terrible recruiting, team. recruiting will be a little bit different, and you're yeah. gonna have to jump onto that South recruit pretty heavily. That's where I think the hiccup might come in a couple of years. But I mean, by year three or four in the SEC, I don't see a fucking problem. I we are right there, and. Bigger and badder than ever. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I guess it, it's going to happen. What you know, what happens next Friday is going to determine a lot of stuff. I believe what goes on in the future with <laughs> Michigan football, with the future of the Michigan University and the Big Ten. Absolutely. 
or, but or the, specifically the football but you know, entity. But you know, they, can just, they can just leave for one. They can just leave for one yeah, sport. Absolutely. They don't have to. Yeah. They can just, yeah. the football co- program could just leave the SEC. Yeah. But like you said, you've already made this point. And it's very clear that all the money, <laughs> if they leave, the money leaves. So, I mean, the cash cow has to go where the grazing is great, right? As, as, as the, the largest know, the... football stadium in the world. I mean, I'm so disgusted with our it's, – it's something else we'll talk about too. I mean, my disgust level with Potato is on par with the owner of the Pistons. So, And it, it, this dude did this to me in one week. The Pistons have put this on me in for 15 fucking years. Fuck two and eight motherfuckers. Happy yeah, Veterans but they're, Day they're still they're still better than the Clippers, and the Clippers got freaking hardened. So. Yeah, I love I love everything. <laughs> I was gonna bring that up to you. Real, I love they are all in three with Harden. They are getting smashed. Yeah, they're there not was, a good basketball there team. There's a really, really, really good clip. I, let me see if I could bring myself up here. Hold on. Man, there is a really, really, really good clip. Come on, let's see. Home, home, home. How do I hit my ex home now again? God, this shit's so wild. Yeah, there's there's one where he's like kind of like standing there with his hands on his hip, and they're like, Well, this is what you get with Harden. Who's like, dude, that's all he did when he was with Brooklyn the entire time. He's so got a cheeseburger in his hand. <laughs> they told him he had to get conditioned because he was like out of shape when he came back. I was yeah. like, that's great. Dude. A little over an hour ago. Little over Charles, an hour ago, before, Charles Woodson. I think this whole thing is bullshit on national TV. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get before we go. Let's get those predictions for the Michigan game today, which is kicking off in 53 minutes as of right now. So I can get this out there. Let's we gotta do it. roll this through. Let's do it. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right. I got Michigan winning the football game today, 45-13. Nice. Man, <laughs> you want to go for a shutout, but I don't believe it's going to no, happen. It's, no, I, I think the I think the first I think Penn State's going to score 10. I think Penn State's going to score 10. They'll score on the opening drive and then they will kick a field goal in the third quarter. And that'll be it. I think Michigan I'm going to go Michigan 38, Penn State 10. I think this is a 38-10 matchup. I like it. I really like it. I really do. And, hey, man, listen, go blue, hashtag bet, hashtag pew, hashtag potato. Hashtag potato. We're going to start hashtag potato on this one. All right. Big, big and, uh, if you guys all want to stay tuned coming up next, Charles, we have William Wagner on the end of this episode. And everybody catch that because we don't talk this with Mr. Potato. We just talk straight Michigan football. Yeah, it's just straight Michigan some football. Awesome questions for him if you guys want yeah, to stick I was around. so fun. What a good dude. Great energy. I'm I'm looking forward to watching our boys on the field this weekend. Go blue and uh pew pew, like Charles said. Bet, 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 bet. <laughs>